It's a no-nonsense message defending Americans' rights to bear arms. But this sign, to protect the Second Amendment, kept disappearing off a New York guy's front lawn. So he set up a camera to catch whoever was knocking it down and taking it away. And as it turns out, the culprit was a local police officer. Jonathan Gibson made that sign and caught the officer red-handed. He joins us live here in our New York studio. John, good morning to you. Morning. How are you today? Okay, so first of all, what was the message on the sign? The, the message was protect the Second Amendment. Okay, and uh, you put that sign up, uh, and then it disappeared. And you put up another, it disappeared. You put up a third, it disappeared. On the fourth one, what did you do? Fourth one, uh, my wife informed me middle of the day that the fourth sign went missing. So when I got home from work, I grabbed the trail camera that was set up, pulled out the, the SD card, and put it on the computer, looked at the pictures, and saw that it was a local police officer. And when you thought it was a police officer, you thought, what? I was beyond disappointed. You know, I was expecting to catch uh, a neighborhood person who maybe didn't like my message supporting the Second Amendment, and I was prepared to call the police and file a complaint because I would expect the police to be there to protect our rights, and I was terribly disappointed to find out that it was a police officer stomping on my rights. Uh, what, what does the town say? What do the police say? Well, the, the town is saying that the, the sign was on public property, which, because of a town ordinance, they say there's a right of way for the first 15 feet from the edge of the road. And how far was it from the edge of the road? Probably somewhere around four feet. All right. Uh, it's my contention that this is my property that I pay taxes on. I have a survey of my property that shows it's within my boundaries. And the, I don't believe that the town ordinance supersedes my First Amendment right of free speech. Sure. You don't know whether or not it was the police that took down the first couple of signs, but you do know that it was a police officer who took down the fourth sign. Why didn't they just knock on your door and say, hey, you know what, that sign's too close to the road? That's, that's the same exact question that my wife and I asked each other, and every neighbor that's come up to, to my house to show support for this has said to me, why didn't they just come knock on your door? Yeah. And, and eventually, that's a question I'd like to have answered. Would you have moved it back 15 feet then? I may have moved it back to a degree, but I feel very strongly about our sure. rights. And with, with the advice of, of my lawyer, you know, he, he supports me and says that I'm within my First Amendment rights. Well, here's what the police chief in your town says. I stand by the officer 100%. He was doing his job, which was responding to a violation of town code. It had nothing to do with the content of the sign. And apparently you've got a neighbor who does not like... Uh... Yeah, yeah, you know, funny enough, that same Reporting neighbor... You probably. Yeah. So same neighbor had a sign up of their own at one point. But um, besides that, you know, whether the town doesn't like the message that I put out there or not. It's the fact that they, they took my sign down, which is a, an expression of, of yeah. myself and my speech and, and my beliefs, which is a violation of my constitutional rights. And, and I'm a very big believer right. in the Constitution. I think in my town they would have knocked on the door. Uh, yeah. John Gibson, keep us posted on what happens next. Absolutely. Thank you, Brian. You're going to put up another sign? Absolutely. All right. Very good. All right.